Good evening, everyone. I'm Sandra Bookman. And I'm Joe Torres. The aftermath in the tragic death of a teenager played out in two locations today on Long Island. Mourners today said their final goodbyes to 16-year-old Cassine Morris, who was stabbed to death at a strip mall. And meanwhile, the teenagers who were arrested in connection with the deadly attack pleaded not guilty to second-degree gang assault at their arraignment. Eyewitness News reporter Diana Rocco has the story. It still doesn't even feel real. While family and friends remember the life of 16 year old Cassine Morris at an Oceanside funeral home Saturday. Meanwhile, miles away in a Hempstead courtroom, seven more people have been arraigned in connection with the death of the high school student. The suspects police have identified range in age from 16 to 19. And police say while they are not part of a gang, they are all charged with gang assault in the second degree for this fight caught on Snapchat and cell phone video. The fight that killed Cassine. Well, it appears it was an altercation involving many youths. The question is, was it a consensual fist fight? Did my client participate in that fist fight? We maintain this was nothing more than a prearranged fist fight, just like the police have said, where one individual who's already been indicted on murder took it to another level. Earlier, 18 year old Tyler Flatch was charged with murder after this video was taken on September 16th. The fight was over a girl, police say, involving as many as 50 kids in an Oceanside strip mall where Cassine was fatally stabbed multiple times in the chest, according to police, by Flatch. Another teen suffered a broken arm and head trauma. But what we'll never answer is why a young 16 year old man had to die on the streets here in Nassau County, stabbed during a brutal attack. That's unacceptable. I want to emphasize that we believe that there still is video out there. We still believe there are witnesses who can come forward. The charged teen's family were outside the courtroom as well as Cassine's family wearing shirts with his picture. His family left court without saying anything as they went straight to funeral services for the 16-year-old. Many still in disbelief he's gone. He's just a nice person, you know, just really funny, loved life. It just shouldn't have happened. It was completely... It was just unnecessary. Hundreds of family, friends, and classmates showed up to a viewing that lasted most of the day here in Oceanside on Saturday to pay respects to Cassine, who was killed just one month shy of his 17th birthday.